question. Depending on the angle, I guess, of the bullet coming into the body, and if it uh, glances off a, a part of the body and then continues to travel on and hits another person, and that's what it appears to what have happened in this situation. Uh, so uh, one person was hit, and then the other it traveled on through and then hit the other person. That's apparently what happened here. So, so that is the limit of the, how you describe the you know, when a bullet uh, traverses uh, any kind of tissue, it has energy. So luckily it did not go through the skull, it fractured the skull, but the energy of the bullet caused some pressure waves on the uh, brain and that causes injury. We'd like to see her begin to speak and begin to move her uh, arms and legs. Uh, that's what we look for neurologically, some recovery fact that uh, they're both alive uh, certainly is something that's uh, fortunate. Uh, they could have certainly been uh, worse. Uh, we don't know, of course, what the outcome is going to be on both of them. We have a better idea about the boy than, than the girl right now. I was scared. I was scared because I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, we, none of us expect this to happen today or any other day, but yeah, I guess it happened. So the question is, how was he able to get past, you know, with inside of, you know, with the gun in his backpack, if you guys have metal detectors? You know, I was actually, I was a student here, class of 06, and, you know, I've never seen anything like this before, and I was here for four years. threat to remains and everybody needs to remain vigilant. As far as downstream towns are concerned, there's obviously an immediate concern for Warwick Nabeel today uh, and the, uh, the prospect of uh, uh, flooding later, and I'll let uh, Ray speak about that, and obviously in Kerrang. Yeah. Um, as you know, it's affected a very vast area, so this is my local backyard, just like Kevin's. Uh, Kevin's my no, it's William Hague. He Hi. Does Hello. My, I'm Judy. He does my it's job in the UK. Yeah. Hello. How do you do? Uh, we want to do everything that we can to help uh, and uh, there will be things that Australia has accepted uh, some items of help that we have offered uh, in flood recovery techniques and flood forecasting techniques and so on so we want to work with you on that on the future in the future but mainly I just want to say that in Britain we admire your fortitude and resilience in what you've uh, been through uh, and we were with you in spirit all the way throughout it